guys, my name is Blaze, and today we are back with another video. In today's video, I will be showing you guys a really cool addition that has been added to Lumber Tycoon 2 very recently, at least of the time of this recording. I'm recording this um, October 5th. I'll probably upload this on Friday, or maybe tomorrow. We'll see. But regardless, this was, this was added very recently. Uh, I'm not exactly entirely sure when, but I believe it was in the past week. Uh, what, what has been added pretty much is a statue of the Virgin Mary under the map, which I'll show you guys how to actually access, how to view it, and what this might mean for the game. So to actually access this, uh, first get yourself a car or a truck, it doesn't really matter. Uh, drop your axes beforehand because you might lose them in the process of this. And get a blueprint if you don't already have one, which is going to be used to flip your car under the map if you don't know already how to do this trick. I made a video on this in the future, uh, in the past, I mean, uh, describing how to fix your car once it's been flipped over using this blueprint trick. You can also utilize this blueprint trick, though, to glitch under the map or glitch into certain areas which you wouldn't normally be able to glitch into. So, uh, follow me to where I am. It's around uh, this area over here next to the box cars and the furniture store. Uh, it doesn't have to be exactly where I am because once you're there, you can drive around under there or walk around, whatever you so choose. Um, but yeah, get around this general area and then get out, get your blueprint ready. It can be any blueprint, anything that you can rotate. Uh, because in the process of rotating, you have the opportunity to glitch under the map. Ooh, like I just did there, but it did not work. There we go. So now we are, oh my goodness, it's being a little bit. There we go. Okay. There we go. Alright. Uh, sorry about that. That was a little tricky there. But now we're under the map. Just like that. And the statue's right there. But before I show you the statue, I want to just uh, drive around a little bit. And just show you what else might be down here. There's nothing else down here. To my knowledge. Uh, but... You never know, we might discover something. Uh, before I actually show you the statue, if you remember back, uh, oh gosh, probably five years ago now, 2017, 2016, 2018 maybe, uh, Default 2 added a box skull uh, below uh, Bob's shack. It was never added into the game, it was never accessible, but it was able to be seen under the map if you zoomed out and looked under the map, or if you glitched under the map using this trick, you could see a boxed skull under Bob's shack. Never added into the game, but it, it was really interesting nonetheless. This might be a similar thing, where it might not be added to the game, might not be added to the game, not entirely sure, but here it is. I will illuminate it with my car lights. And right here is a statue of the Virgin Mary. It could be something else. I suppose. It doesn't necessarily have to be this, but I mean it almost definitely is. The Virgin Mary is very commonly shown with her her hands in this praying uh, petition, uh, I guess, manner. She seems very um, modestly and like, you know, piously dressed if you will, religiously dressed. Um, so it almost definitely is the Virgin Mary made out of some marble or some stone, like, sculpted in, in a certain way. I'm not sure if this is a red herring uh, in the sense that Default 2 is making us think that he's going to add something that is not. He's done this in the past and tricked us um, many times with different riddles and with different additions that make us think he's going to add something when in reality he never does. But there are many instances in which he does um, begin with a hint. He does give us a hint first and then that thing is eventually added into the game such as the red eagle like the you know the eagle which led to the rickery axe and the end times axe being in the game and just things that are um hidden around the map pretty much that give us an insight into what default has already added into the game to help us find it um or insight into what default will add into the game in the future allowing us to have some idea of what he might add uh, causing us to be on the lookout for that. This might be just that. It might be a red herring. We don't know. I don't know. I don't think really anyone knows. It's kind of out of the blue. Why would Default you add this religious figure? Like, is he religious? It Does this have a place in the game? If this is going to be added into the game, like, what purpose would it serve? Again, I can think of many ideas. Um, I don't know if all of them are possible or plausible, but it's really interesting nonetheless, right? It kind of reminds me of the lighthouse. Like, the lighthouse is like... Uh, seems like a red herring for the boats, like where he's not going to actually add the boats. In this instance, a statue, I'm not really sure what he's wanting us to make us believe through this, but we can notice it's like tilted forward a little bit. It's clearly the Virgin Mary. Why would he add this? I'm not sure. Just a short video. Um, again, I'm uploading more frequently as the time for Halloween grows closer and more things are added into the game. Uh, I'll try to guys uh, keep you updated on what will be added in this game. Um, and keep you guys updated as possible because there's so many features being added 
and there's a lot of opportunity for videos to make and to keep you guys informed. I'll do my best in doing so. Thank you guys for watching. If you did like, drop a like, subscribe, comment. Uh, any ideas for videos and what you guys think this might be or might uh, mean for the game. Thank you guys for watching. Without further ado, peace out.